Hi, in this video we're going to look at an example of what's called a Canadian T-bill. Well, I'll get into what that means in just a second and you'll see uh, why it fits into this, uh, this particular section. So let's look at how the problem is stated. Uh, so let's suppose that the government of Canada issues a 180-day treasury bill, uh, that's a T-bill, uh, with a quoted rate of 4% and a redemption value of 1000 and our question is to determine the price of the T-bill. So the first thing we have to do is understand what a T-bill is. It's a, uh, it's a way for you to invest your money. You're going to give the government of Canada a certain amount now, and uh, that's going to pay. That's going to be the price of the T-bill. And in return, you're going to get, you know, as it said, you're going to get this uh, redemption value of one hundred. Uh, I'm sorry, $1,000 uh, at the end of 180 days. So if we look at a timeline, our timeline will look like this. Uh, I'll put the timeline in days at day zero. Uh, that's when we're going to pay for it. So that we're going to pay a price at day zero uh, for that for that T-bill. And then uh, in 180 days, we're going to get the uh, the 1,000 uh, redemption value. So the, the, the T-bill, we would say, matures after 180 days. So it's a very simple investment um, uh, investment vehicle. Okay, so now what is the price uh, uh, of, that we're going to pay? Well, that's very easy. You take the present value of whatever the redemption value is, which in this case would just be the present value of 1000 So I haven't given you enough information to, to calculate numerically what the present value is. I'm just telling you it's the present value of, 1, 000, of the 1000 after 180 days. I haven't told you anything about uh, what type of interest you're using to do this present value calculation. So this is the major fact that we have with uh, that you need to keep in mind with Canadian T-bills. The quoted rate is going to be a simple interest rate uh, based on a 365 day year. So the first thing that we need to do is change the days on our timeline to years and, and uh, correct the well, rescale the 180. So when I change that to years, then the 180 days will be 100 out of 365 day years because that's the key part of the based on the 365 day year. So 180 divided by 365 is, is the time at which this uh, T-bill matures. Okay, so now let's go back to, uh, to the question again. Uh, 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 before I do, uh, the next thing we're going to focus on is that the quoted rate here, the first line in the, uh, in the fact, the quoted rate is a simple interest rate. So let me go back and, and, and show you the problem again. In the second line here, you see the quoted rate is a 4% rate. So now I know that that's a 4% simple interest rate. So my timeline looks like that where I is a 4% is simple interest rate once I have once I have that extra information, I know what the accumulation function is. The accumulation is 1 plus whatever that simple interest rate is, in this case 4%. 1 plus 0.04t is the uh, accumulation function. So then the, the relationship between the price and the redemption value is that if you take the price of the, uh, of the T-bill and you accumulate it to the time at which it matures, in this case 180 over 365, then you'll get the redemption value, in this case is 1,000. So the last line there on, the, on this slide is, is, the, uh, is the equation that I need to solve. Uh, noticing that the one, A of 180 over 365, just plug, the, you know, plug in 180 divided by 365 for T in the above line, and I get this equation that I want to solve here. And when I do so, uh, you know, you just solve it and you'll get that. the price then for this Canadian T bill is $980.66. Okay, so when you have this, uh, these uh, T-bill problems, you're going to have unknowns. The unknowns are going to be, uh, generally, uh, the unknowns will be the price, the redemption value, uh, the quoted rate, and the time until it matures. And so in these problems, they're going to give you three of the four unknowns and ask you to find the fourth one. And, and so you just do so using the fact that the quoted rate is a simple interest rate based on a 365-day year. Okay, so uh, I'll see you in the next video.